you know, West Nile has been detected in a human and in mosquitoes in Hines County. So it's really important for people in Hines County to be on their guard to prevent mosquito bites. Hines County residents, beware. As we are in the middle of summer, mosquitoes are on the rise. Health officials say last year there were 43 cases of West Nile in the state and seven deaths. Dr. Thomas Dobbs with the Mississippi State Department of Health says you should take the necessary steps to prevent mosquito exposure. These mosquitoes typically bite in the morning and the afternoon, so it's most important to be careful during those times. And if you're outside working in the yard or going for a walk, using some mosquito repellent, typically that has the DEET component in it, that'll keep the mosquitoes away. Uh, Dr. Dobbs says you should also get rid of standing water in your home. And if you think you have West Nile, it may not be easy to detect. The deal is the symptoms of West Nile virus are very similar to the common cold or even the flu. The people will have fever, fatigue, um, some will feel lightheaded, some coughing, sneezing. The bottom line is there's, there's, there's a very vague presentation for West Nile virus. Dr. Tim Quinn, a primary care doctor, says if you are experiencing excessive coughing, fever, or sore throat, you should immediately see your doctor. What we will do as medical providers is we will do the testing that we're able to do on site, but we'll also do a very detailed history along with follow up. And normally if someone, you know, comes in as really ill, you know, the symptoms really, really point toward a more um, severe infection than just a common cold, we'll go ahead and refer them out. We won't hesitate because your safety is very important to us. Just some tips to keep you safe in the summer. In Jackson, I'm Eric Walker, GSU-TV.